What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome to the channel where I show you cool awesome things in Fallout 4. In this video I'll be showing you how you can get your very own cannon, so you can become the Pirate of the Wastes. Anyway, this cannon is called the Broadside and just look at it, how beautiful. It does 108 base damage with no upgrades, that makes it one of the best weapons in the game. To compare it to a Gus Rifle that has a base damage of 110. So to get this weapon it's actually fairly easy. You're going to need to come here on the map. It's northeast from Diamond City. The location is called USS Constitution. You cannot miss it, it's a giant wooden ship that's fallen out of the sky. It sticks out like a sore thumb. Once you're around the area, you'll probably see a Mr. Gusty robot called Lookout. He's hanging about around the bottom of the ship. He will tell you to go inside the ship and talk to Captain Ironside, and you can find him at the very top on the deck. Once you talk to Ironside, he'll give you several mini quests that you need to do in order to get his flying ship running again. If you want a full walkthrough on the whole thing, check out the link in the description. Now you will have a choice to side with either the Scavengers or Captain Ironside, and I strongly suggest that you side with Ironside, because once you finish this questline, he will give you the Captain's Quarters, which you can use as a player's home, and also a unique hat. It's all about this hat. But about halfway through fixing Ironside's ship, he will actually reward you with the Broadside Cannon, and that's how you get it. This is legit a cannon, it shoots cannonballs, it's insane, I love it. We can actually upgrade it to do even more damage. So the perks you're going to need is the bloody mess perk and the heavy gunner perk. And then we can take it to the crafting bench. I suggest going for the lighter barrel and that gives you better hit fire accuracy and a reduction in weight because it's pretty heavy. You can also give it a steady grip and that will reduce the recoil. And lastly, but most importantly, make sure you get that multi-shot canister. That turns this cannon into an absolute beast, because you won't need to reload it every single time you fire. It does, however, make it way more. But come on guys, a rapid fire cannon, am I right? My only real issue with this gun is that the cannonball ammunition is actually pretty rare and quite hard to find. But if you really must cosplay a pirate, I've made a guide and I'll leave a link to it in the description on where you can find cannonballs quite easily. And rather interestingly, if you look really closely at this weapon, it's actually like a mini easter egg. This engraving says, Royal Cipher of King George III, born 1738, reigned from 1760 to, 7, to 1820. So that was um, a British king, by the way. But what I don't understand is why a British cannon is on board a USS Constitution ship. That makes no sense at all. So let me know what you guys think of that in the comments. But I do hope this guide helped you out. Please take the time to like the video if it did. And you can also check out the channel for tons more unique weapon guides like this one. Thanks again for watching guys, my name is ESO and I shall see you loyal subscribers in the next Fallout 4 video guide. Goodbye!